Hey, hey, Leo, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your November 2024 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Leo, has anyone else been feeling like there's glitches glitches in how you speak glitches in what you are seeing and glitches in time i don't know about you but i've been feeling these glitches amplified more so now than ever now bottom of the deck we have winter's dream the gestation period so i do see here for you over the coming months, you are creating something quite profound that is going to transform your life in a very, very big way. But right now, you may be working on repairing the body, repairing the mind, repairing the spirit. You have me talk showing up. You actually have two cards here. You're the first one, Leo, to get two cards. And you have the me talks, which is all about, yes, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. And I feel like this is required. You're going to need to do this in order to rise above the fray. That's your next card here is the eyes of the eagle. Some of you may even be seeing eagles a lot more. I know I am because you are being called to rise above. And in order to do so, there has to be a lighter energy, maybe a more healed energy. That's why you're starting off with the star, right? You're starting off with the star here. And this is about wish fulfillment. And some of you, there's been a lot of discord. So that's the truth we'll talk about in your reading. How to fully embody the energy of this 1111 portal, which allows us to connect to higher realms. Now, we always have the ability to connect to higher realms, but this is a very powerful cosmic portal that helps reawaken us to our purpose, helps us reset our intentions and to reactivate our purpose. And this can be a really wonderful time for manifestation, synchronicities, and connectivity as well. Now, bottom of the deck, you have, again, the gestation period. So we'll look and see what is brewing. And I feel for a lot of you, it could be that the coming months, you are healing on a cellular level, a cellular level to prepare for what's to come. So some of you... Maybe even like me, sometimes I will, uh, like the other morning, yesterday morning, I woke up with a bit of a scratchy, sore throat, but my illnesses do not last long. They are 24 to 48 hours max. Um, I don't often get sick, but when I do, there's a deep, profound healing that goes beyond just the surface of a sore throat. And I feel for some of you, there has been perhaps some health stuff that you've needed to look into. Okay, yeah, we have the underworld with the temperance here, Sagittarian energy. This can be about moderation, moderating the foods that you put into your body. This can be staying hydrated. Who are you surrounding yourself with? What are you watching on media, right? What are you taking in? What are you ingesting? We'll also take a look at the energy you're putting out into the universe, how to best align with that energy. We'll get advice from spirit. Did I already say this? I'm not sure. See what I mean about those glitches? It feels like I'm jumping timelines. And a lot of you may feel a little bit disconnected at this time. You're not going crazy, I promise. The underworld with the temperance can at times, when it's in reverse, it can have us feeling like things are a little bit cray cray, but I feel like you are protected and I feel like you have skills. You have a lot of skills, eight of pentacles. Some of you, your skills have to do with your healing abilities, okay? Your ability to heal yourself, your ability to heal others, 
or be the channel to be able to help others. Bottom of the deck, we see the Knight of Wands adventure. That's why you're having to rest and recoup because 2025 is going to be an adventurous ride for you with this Knight of Wands. And I do see with the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this is a little sneak peek into your 2025, which we'll get there here in a moment. But I do see that there's a new path that you are going towards. This is that gestation period. Something is brewing and spirit is making sure that you're up to the task. That's why you have that me me talks card showing up. Okay, and I am getting the movie Avatar. The Avatar movie, it almost feels like interconnectedness, being able to connect to that that divine tree of life. You know how they just plug their tails into the tree of life and it's just, I feel like you are you have that access, we all do, but you're going to see things through perhaps a different way, a different perspective. It's through the lens of a higher, yeah, a higher or even more of clarity with the eyes of the eagle. It just feels like you understand things, you see things, you may be opening up your gift of clairvoyance. You're rising above the fray and you can see that there are things happening and you may have this great divine calling to help heal, to help others in some way. And I feel like it's transmuting the pain. It's being able to help others transmute the pain because you know what that feels like. And if that is part of your calling, Leo, I feel if you head in this direction, Knight of Wands is someone who is very enthusiastic. He is also a risk taker. And you got to risk it here to get the biscuit. And if you do, you're going to see Three of Cups, celebration and resolution. Because I see that there has been some conflict. There's been discord. But you have the ability to heal this, either within yourself, within a relationship, within a career setting, within a health issue, and within maybe a business or your creative endeavors. Because this is about finding resolution by rising above and seeing things from that eagle's view. And then we have six of pentacles, reciprocity, gift from the universe. This is thy bounty. So if there's something that's been one-sided, whether it be a relationship, whether it be your pay, compensation, your time, your energies, I just feel like there's going to be a reward. There's going to be some sort of balancing out, but it hasn't always been easy getting to that balance point. All right. Now let's dive in a little bit further here. I want to look at the Me Talks card and we'll read these at the very end, but you can see that she's sitting there in the bathtub and maybe that's that avatar energy here as well. Some of you are like mermaids. I know I am. I love the water. I love the ocean and I, I have Leo. I'm a Leo rising. And this is about repairing the body. So some of you may be heading to a body of water. This could be your own bathtub, right? It could be a pond. It could be a lake, a river. It could be a large body of water such as the ocean. Staying hydrated is going to be very, very beneficial. But I'm also getting paying attention to your drinking water. Okay, paying attention to what dehydrates you for some of you taking a look at maybe your caffeine intake or even the things that do not fulfill you some of you when it comes to health this has to do with maybe the gut as well gut health and i see that she's blowing a bubble which is interesting and in these bubbles there are little creatures and i feel like you have these ideas these visions yeah, some of you are visionaries. You absolutely are. You have these visions, Leo, and you have a lot of help from maybe even the fairy realm, the elemental realm, the nature spirits, water spirits, excuse me. But I feel like there is a, a level or an element of rising above with the eyes of the eagle and really diving into the star 
how to fully embody the energy of the 1111 portal is the star. And this is about a brighter future. It's about healing the aspects of oneself on a body, mind, soul level. So you can activate your intentions and your dreams. So you can be that inspiration, not just for yourself, but for others. And I see a lot of you tapping in to your, your higher frequencies. This can be having that connection with your spirit guide. Some of you are really going to start seeing evidence that it's not just talked about and you don't ever get to experience it, right? It's something that you will be able to experience more tangibly or more more so than just uh, believing. I, I feel like believing is seeing and you're going to start to see things because again, I'm getting that visionary energy and then the eyes of the eagle is highlighted, but it's going to require this me talks or detox, right, to happen over the coming months at a cellular level for you to raise your vibrations and be able to meet this energy. Because that's what happens when I channel, I have to raise my vibration and they lower theirs a little bit so we can meet in the middle. And a lot of you, you're getting clear images, you're getting clear messages. And some of you may channel through your, your journaling, channel through your art, channeling through your healing. So trust that. And I feel like there is a star. It's like your North Star here. Some of you may even be looking into your North Node. Because our north node is our destiny. Our south node is our karma. It's our past. It's our history. So looking into the stars, astrology can really help you embody this portal, right? It can help you learn more about yourself. And I see here, Leo, you are a learner. You are someone who is very skilled. You're very skilled at your craft. And whatever you are curious about, I feel like you take a risk and jump into it with the Knight of Wands here, or at least that's what you are being called to do. If you don't know something, you go research it out, right? If you have maybe an illness or a symptom, you're gonna dive into it and figure it out. How do I heal? What is this? What do I need to know? And it does look like the truth that you are waking up to is some sort of pain that has been lodged deep in the body and this is a pain that sometimes we feel like we have rid ourselves of, right? We feel like we've healed it. But Spirit is saying, in order to fully enter into this eye of the eagle, you must completely work through whatever this discord is within oneself or within one's dynamic. And the three of swords is the card of painful truths. It's the energy of third party, betrayal, sorrow, grief. It can be moving on, right? Needing to move on and unresolved emotional pain that causes bitterness, that causes one to be closed off, that causes one to not be able to trust, not be able to trust in oneself or not be able to trust in others. So if that is something that you've suffered from any of the three of swords discord, that is what is being healed for you at this time. And I feel like you're doing the work and I'm proud of you and your guides and your team and your ancestors are proud of you. What are the intentions that you're putting out there? You're saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to master this skill. I'm ready to put in this work. I have what it takes. Yes, you do. You are fierce. You are determined. You will not give up on your dreams. You will not give up on yourself, Leo. And when the Eight of Pentacles shows up, this is about you loving your work. And this is what you are putting out into the universe, right? I love my work. I love what I do. I'm going to gain knowledge. I'm going to dedicate myself to my craft. I am going to ex be experimental. I'm going to be curious. This is also about inspiration, right? It's about craftsmanship. I think I said that, craftsmanship. But I feel like time management is important here. And it feels like you're getting back to a little bit of a routine where you're able to focus on building some of the things that you want to see long term in your life. And maybe that has been a struggle, perfectionism. 
people pleasing. You know, all of those things can hold us back from attaining the skills that we need or timing, right? Maybe poor time management. But I feel like you are discovering something and it, who else had it? Maybe it was Aries that had the same card, but you see that there's eight pentacles and they are, they, they are formed. They have a certain form on them, but there's one pentacle that is free for interpretation. There's something that you are building yet. There's something you are learning yet. And I feel like this has to do with what you're curious about, what you are called to do. Because remember, if you are called to do it, then that is your calling. And I feel like you're mastering something and you're putting out into the universe saying, I'm ready. And I see that you are because you have the star here, but you've certainly gone through a tower, which has led to the three of swords, the discord. So how to best align with the eight of pentacles? moderation you have the underworld now the underworld don't get caught up with the swine right the swine you see it out of the the whole car beautiful illustration here the biggest thing that stands out is the swine and yes you have the dragons there as well but i feel like you you've already faced a lot of dragons you have what it takes to slay the dragons or to befriend them right but it's the swine that sometimes we don't always see. It can be being able to moderate, being able to balance. The temperance is self-control. It's allowing yourself that tender love and care when you need it. And I feel for some of you, you were dealing with crazy. Okay, you were dealing with crazy. Maybe you felt crazy. I know I felt crazy at times. This can be dealing with other people who have just gone off their rocker. You may be seeing the crazy in the world. But when you are a healer, when you have the skills and the abilities, which I see you do, but you're honing in on another one, you're adding another tool to your spiritual belt here, I feel like you're able to address even the swine. So there may be people that come to you that have been in the deepest, darkest corners, just like you have at times, but you have this gift to be able to help them all, okay, or help people in such a profound way. All right, what's the advice from your guides? King of Swords, use that mind, use that brilliant mind of yours. You have the King of Swords, which is the element of air. And I do see with the Three of Swords, you've learned. You've learned about discord and you can handle discord in a way that can be beneficial now. So when things like this arise, you're aware of it. You have your logical analytical mind and the, the mind can be used to, I always say, build or destroy. And yes, there has been destruction, but your guides are saying here with this King of Swords, you are very intelligent. You're very experienced. And you're not going to sugarcoat things. Do not sugarcoat things. Do not allow people to be a mask or wear a mask. You know, don't allow the swine to come in and deter you from what you know to be true for yourself. The King of Swords is not interested in games or fantasy. He's going to share his knowledge and he's clever. And I feel like that is your advice. It doesn't mean, you know, don't dive into the, the whimsical, magical realm. Not, that's not at all what it means. But it says that you may be working more with like the psychological aspects. Uh, maybe even diving into the power of the mind and reframing, re, reconforming here in some way unlearning old beliefs maybe that's part of what you've done part of what you are called to do because the mind is beyond powerful that can really limit us or it can be something that launches us what do you want it to do now how will this new wave cause a ripple over the coming months well into your 2025 well look at this 
We have the heart opening of the Page of Cups. We do see a lot of reflection here, Leo. So I feel over the coming months, as you heal, as you repair the body, the mind, the spirit, as you ascend your energy and get to this place of the eye of the eagle. By the way, some of you could be 39 years old or born on the 18th. Now, I am getting with this page of cups. I mean, this is a beautiful energy to be in because it's the beginning of something quite emotionally fulfilling. And it is because you, you've learned a lot of lessons around the heart. And you're not going to let the mind play tricks on you any longer. And for some of you, you're telling yourself a new story. And the story involves you opening up the heart. The story involves you being able to rise above because the answer is love. The answer is love. Let's clarify some of these energies. Now, I want to see what is, what is in the works because we see that this page, this could be messages, it could be news, it could be the beginning of a new relationship, it could be the beginning of a new intuitive, creative endeavor. The Page of Cups is fun. He's playful and he's vulnerable, right? He has to be vulnerable. We all must be vulnerable because that's what connects us to love, to the divinity, to the, the collective consciousness, right? It is through love, but it's also through pain. And I see that through pain, through discord, that is when we grow, right? And there's something here about you reflecting on that growth period. And that is the gestation because what you're giving birth to, Leo, is profound. And I feel like you're giving birth to this in the spring season. The spring. Well, depending on where you're located. But let's clarify. Page of Cups. The Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups at times can be spoiled for options. But it's about possibility. And that's what I'm getting here. It's saying don't get lost in the temptations or the quick fix or putting a band-aid on things. Don't get lost in the instant gratification because I see that you have work to do. You're not afraid to do the work, but you have to ground yourself, ground your energy because that's how you stay centered. And I feel, yes, there's opportunities for you to explore, but when you have that King of Swords on your side, you're going to know what tempts you. You're going to know what's a quick you know, instant thing that may not be long-term, whether it be a partnership, a relationship, or a job. And I feel like you're reflecting on some choices and options that you have going into 2025. But let's take a look here. Let's get one more with a seven of, yeah, try not to overthink things. And that's a message of the King of Swords here as well. Use your logic, use your intellect, to benefit you, not to limit you. We said that earlier. So one more, please. As we see choices. Oh, they said the answer is in the question. Okay. The question here was, how will this new wave cause a ripple over the coming months? And we said, reflect and keep the heart open. That's how you're going to choose. So I feel like we don't even need a clarifier because we have... Two cards that talk about choice. Don't overthink it. Allow your heart and your intuition to, to stay open. But use your logic. Because those are two huge things that we've come here with, right? As tools to help us navigate. And I feel like it's important not to overthink with the air element here. You have skill. And I want to look here before we dive into... The me talks and the eyes of the eagle. What is the skill that you have? And I feel like, yes, we've talked about that, the healing, but whoa, that one flipped right out. Let's look. And we have the empress at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like this is the gestation here of a skill. But what do we have? Five of wands, the death card. You have the skill of, well, for, I'm getting a couple messages. What causes suffering is our inability to let go. What causes suffering is our attachment to 
things, to people, to situations, to beliefs. When we fully embody this energy of the death, rebirth, this Scorpio energy, which will be in Scorpio season on 11-11, when we can embrace rebirth. And I just listened to this the po- a podcast this morning that talked about pregnancy and birth, which is, I'm going to bring it up here because I do see the gestation period and the empress. Now, if you are a bystander and you don't know what's going on when a woman is giving birth, you think that she's dying, right? You think that she's dying because you're not awake to what's really happening. You think that there's a death, but the people who are awakened, the doulas, the people who are there to help, right? They know what's going on. They know that there's a rebirth or a birthing taking place. And as soon as that, that child is out, the mother takes a deep sigh, a deep breath, right? But in the meantime, while there is life coming into the world, it is, it feels like a destruction. And so remember that, that when you are awakened, which you are, if you weren't, you wouldn't be listening to this reading. I feel like you understand more so the process of death and rebirth. That is your gift. That's part of your skill. You're learning here how to let go and when to let go instead of there being friction. Five of wands, okay? Five of wands is unnecessary conflict. It can be criticism, hanging on to criticism, hanging on to drama, to competition, to adversity, to obstacles, to what other people think. That's what you are overcoming here, Leo, in a big way with the death card. All right, let's look at the Me Talks card 39. Cleaning house. When the Me Talks card appears, it challenges you to discard the deep, dearly held judgments that you have passed over yourself and others. Release the people who you feel wronged you or offended you. Recognize that they mirror the shadow aspects of your own soul. Yes, it is a tough pillow pill to swallow. Only then can you cull from your life the toxic people who have allowed who you've allowed into your inner circle. It's time for a cleaning of your proverbial house. Get rid of the thoughts and personal judgments poisoning your mind. Eliminate the inauthentic beliefs of others you've adopted as your own. Do so before your mind makes you sick. And empty your literal cupboards of the unhealthy junk food poisoning your body. Fast for a day. Skip a meal to allow your body to cleanse itself and rid itself of toxins. Metox also appears as a warning that you can no longer postpone the self-care and pampering you long for. The time is now. Do healthy maintenance on your body before you have to make repairs that you will never quite recover from. Metox has come to caution you that it is not too late, but you are at the 11th hour. You guys, I have full body goosebumps here. The 11th hour, that's what this reading is about. 11 energy of November. Now, I have no idea why it even says 11th hour, but it does. You can't make that up. And and no, I know why, because the 11th hour, right? It's like you have one more hour before it hits midnight, before you turn into that that pumpkin. And I feel like that's the gestation period. (coughs) Excuse me. That's the gestation period. Do not deprive yourself of the health you deserve. Wow. Yeah. And also 39, right? It's like the 11th hour right before you hit 40. And then lastly, we have eyes of the eagle because I see here that that's that's what's coming in for you once we we heal, once we fully embody this energy to the max. This is all about inherent trust and protection. The eyes of the eagle offer you the gift of foresight, the skill of looking ahead. I told you you're a visionary here. To see the unfolding of destiny before it all manifests as reality. The eagle's extraordinary vision allows it to spot the tiny mouse from its lofty perspective as it flies thousands of feet into the atmosphere. In a similar fashion, you too can train your keen eye to discern the workings of humans. Eyes of the Eagle is an invitation to witness the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful, yet react to nothing. Act only to further your noblest calling. 
The eagle flies above all creatures when it meets obstacles. It simply rises above them. Know that you are protected. You can fly high above the judgment, slings, and arrows, and the darts of envy from others who may not have your great wings and are still arguing with the pigeons over crumbs. Trust that you are ready for whatever fortune has placed before you, even if you feel not yet properly equipped to meet its challenges. Your willingness to say yes to spirit has nothing to do with how well outfitted you are. Hesitating, on the other hand, will suck the air from under your wings and make you lose altitude. You are called now to trust your heart and your instincts. Oh, wow. We said that as well, didn't we? We have the tools, the heart and the instinct. That's your outcome with that page of cups. The time is right. You are called here to trust, to move fearlessly and not waver. The time, the time is right and no harm can come your way if your motives are pure and you act courageously. Oh, I'm loving that for you here. Leo, this was a deep one. I feel like it may resonate with a few of you out there. If it does, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share. Send this to someone that may also have this strong calling. And subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. Thank you again, Leo, for tuning in. Lots of love.